YouTube. Welcome back to the basement. This morning I'm going to start working a little bit more on the Nutcracker. So last time we left off, here's the Nutcracker. Last time we left off, this is about where we were. Since then, I've gotten a hardwood dowel. So we've got an actual dowel in the mechanism. Got his head on. Oh, he's standing up on his legs. Look at that. So I temporarily screwed his legs in up from the bottom in this piece of uh, particle board there and uh, I just got him sitting on his legs and his the cracker mechanism is in see that and the uh, the heads on and now we've got to cut some holes drill some holes and the arms and the arms are gonna sit on those pegs kinda like that so we'll sit in here like that and they'll hang at his side and that, That'll be his arms. So, off to the drill press to set up to actually drill these uh, his arms out. Well, there might be a better way to do this, but here's what I've come up with. I've got this block of wood clamped to the table so that this little V-block here is centered. I brought the, I bring the drill bit all the way down and look at it. Now, I've got the stop set up here so that I can't drill too deep into the arm, but without that stop set, and I bring this drill bit all the way down, this little point, little brad point, lines up perfectly in the bottom of that groove. So I'm centered side to side. Now, the arm, if you grab the arm, you can't really tell, there's a taper from this end to this end. So if I just drop it in there and let it flat, it's gonna drill exaggerated on an angle like that. So I've gotta bring this end up a little bit, so I'm drilling straight. So in order to do that, I put this plastic zip tie under here as a shim so this end is higher so that if I put if I put the guy in there like that and hold it all the way over tight against that board line up with that hole line up with that line there and drill and hold it tight I can't do this with the camera I should have a good a good squarish hole so I'm going to put the camera down and uh, make the first pass and, and see if it's deep enough and then try it out and see how she works. And um, Worst case, I can always patch the hole up and turn. I can always patch the hole up and turn it and drill it on another angle. Hopefully I don't have to do that though. So let's give it a shot. Well, happy to say that it worked. We've got the arms on. We've got the legs on. Get the base. The only thing left we need now is a nose and some shoes. So I'm gonna figure out, find a little piece of wood, probably a little piece of one by something for the nose. Have to contour it to match the face, the curve of the face here, and kind of slap his nose in there. And then I don't know, I'm not really sure what to do with about his feet yet, about his legs. There's a uh, shoes, but we'll get there. So far, so good. Well, through some movie editing magic, we're back in the basement again, and we've got a little update from uh, where we left off about two seconds ago. I went back up to uh, the computer and made a foot. I made several feet, actually, and this is the one that I came up with that I liked. Um, I came down here, printed up, came down here and cut it out, and I cut a little slot in it so that I could wrap it around his leg, and this is the foot. So, I printed a couple more out, and I plan on cutting around these and gluing them. Hopefully this piece of wood right here, it's wide enough, I hope. Maybe not. If not, I'll find another piece of wood. Glue that to there, and then cut around it with a bandsaw. We'll drill a hole here, and then stick the piece of wood under the foot, and run the screw up through the piece of wood, through the foot, uh, into the leg to hold him onto his base. And that's how I plan on doing the foot. I also roughed out a nose. And this is actually the second take of the nose because the first one is entirely too big. But uh, let's back out a little bit. And that's, I don't know that I like this one yet or not. I might be sticking out too far. But uh, we'll see. So I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to glue them to a piece of wood. And I'm going to hit the bandsaw. Hey, I wanted to show you one of my favorite shop tricks. That is to take something 
you draw in a CAD program, my favorite is SketchUp, it's free, uh, it's very easy to use. Um, you draw it, you print it to scale on your printer, so this is an exact one-to-one -one scale, and then uh, you get a little bit of spray adhesive, and you glue it right to the thing you're going to cut. So this doesn't move, this is stuck on there. So now I can just zip this right on the bandsaw, I can cut precise hole locations with uh, with the brad point bit right on the uh, right on the center lines here and uh, I'm good to go and I don't have to worry about measuring or drawing or tracing or anything like that just just cut it right out here's another shop tip when you cut stuff out on the bandsaw leave a little extra don't cut down to your line get yourself either a disc sander or I built this table onto this belt sander and you can go up to it and and shape the final shaping with the sander and you get a nice smooth edge and it'll go right to the line real easy make quick work of that last little bit so there's the feet cut sanded the hole drilled right in the center everything perfect no measuring no fuss just a pretty quick operation now let's get them up underneath those legs well there's the feet all put in place Moving on up the body, and I got a nose on him. Still thinking the nose might be too big. I might pop that off and cut it down, but there's a nutcracker. Essentially done. It's been a long journey to get to this point. The mechanism works. back up and get a try to get them all in he's roughly 37 inches from the top of this board to the top of his head is really close to 37 inches maybe a little bit longer which is what I was aiming for I was aiming for three foot tall so I'm happy with him so this has been quite the project. We've uh, gone from a little bitty 9 inch version of a nutcracker. We've gone through a bunch of wood. We made a whole lot of wood chips. We made a big mess in the shop. We've gone through a couple different uh, layouts of the shop. And we have a fully functional 3 foot tall wooden nutcracker hearth decoration. Which is what the goal of this whole project was about. So. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Thank you for seeing it through to the end. We're essentially done here. Um, but the only thing left to do is put some paint on it. But we don't really need to document painting in a video. This isn't a video about painting. This is a video about building a nutcracker. And uh, I think we've been successful. So thank you for watching along. Thank you for following and, and uh, seeing this process as I went through it and, and putting up with my mistakes and maybe the things that I didn't do quite right or or uh, quite as well as I could have. I've learned a lot about this process. I've learned a lot about making videos and, and how to publish them and how to you know, edit them for, for time and such. Some of my first videos were rather on the bland side with a whole lot of nothing going on for, for multiple minutes. But uh, I think I've uh, gotten the hang of this a little bit better. And thank you for putting up with me and, and thanks for sticking it out. Um, as always, Comments are welcome. Let me know what you think, and if you've got any suggestions or, or otherwise, uh, let me know. Thank you.